If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try to solve the question before listening on. We know that for an RL circuit, the self-induced EMF, which is symbolized by this symbol, is equal to the following expression on the right-hand side. What we want to do is take the absolute value on both sides of the equation so that we can just look at the magnitude of this self-induced EMF. In effect, we've removed the negative sign on the right-hand side of the equation since taking the absolute value of a negative changes it to a positive. Now the question gives us the induced EMF of 24 millivolts. We'll have to multiply that by 10 to the minus three to convert it into volts. And then the quantity delta I over delta T is given to us as 10 amps per second. So we can plug that in and solve for the inductance L. And then when we divide both sides of the equation by 10, we can see that the inductance turns out to be 2.4 times 10 to the minus three, and the standard unit will be Henry's. We can next remind ourselves that the inductance is related to the number of turns in the coil, the magnetic flux, and the current by the following equation. Since we're trying to solve for the magnetic flux, we can multiply both sides of this equation by the term I over N so that the I's and N's cancel on the right-hand side. And then we can plug in the known value for the current, which is four amps, the number of turns in the coil, which was 500, and then L, the inductance we just figured out. And when we simplify that, we get approximately 1.92 times 10 to the minus five, and the standard unit for magnetic flux is the Weber. And so this would turn out to be the correct answer to the question. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, click the thumbs up icon and also subscribe to the channel so you could see more videos. Remember that you can send in your own question to this email address, and I'll do my best to answer it on YouTube.